Differences between prospective study and retrospective study. What is a prospective study? A prospective study is a scientific investigation that researchers perform in order to learn more about a particular medical topic. This research involves a specific group of participants or cohorts who are prone or predisposed to the outcome of interest. This means that researchers collect and analyze data with the goal of developing medical treatments or tracking the progression of a disease. Researchers may also design studies, recruit participants, and collect baseline exposure data before the research subjects develop the medical condition. Example of prospective study. Researchers would carry out a prospective study to learn about how people that are susceptible to a particular virus might react to exposure without them actually developing the virus. Prospective studies are often longitudinal, meaning that researchers then follow up with participants or track their health over time to monitor whether they develop the medical condition in question. Advantages of prospective study Tracking participant changes. Prospective cohort studies may track changes in the participant's health or behavior because of exposure or development of the outcome of interest. This offers researchers more information about the development and progression of the condition or disease. Minimizes the likelihood of bias. Considering the outcome of the patient's interaction with and exposure to the subject of interest, there's less likelihood of bias during data analysis. Since researchers may not have a list of pre-existing data sources to choose from, as with retrospective studies, they may create new data through observation and interviews. Collects specific data exposure. Because researchers carry out their study in the present and in the future, they can collect specific data exposure information and can have more control over the procedures than in a retrospective study. Disadvantages of prospective study relies on participant contact. A prospective study monitors the participant over time and through various potential exposures to the outcome or subject of study. This means that the research is reliant on the participant reporting back to the research team and being fully honest and transparent about their experiences for the research to be valid. Doesn't account for latency. Because the researchers are interested in tracking the participants' encounters with a disease, virus, or other medical condition, this can be a challenging method to use if the outcome of interest takes a long time to produce results. However, this method can still yield valuable results. Less effective for rare diseases. If you're interested in developing a treatment for or tracking the progression of a rare disease, a prospective study may not be the ideal model. In a prospective study, you're required to assemble a significant amount of participants with the same condition in order to produce reliable analyses and conclusions. What is a retrospective study? A retrospective study is a research project that involves reviewing the results of exposure to and developments of medical incidents that have already occurred. Similar to a prospective study, researchers conducting this study are also interested in learning about participants' development of a particular medical condition. They use this data to identify and create a cohort of people that were prone to the condition in question and study the subject's exposure status and medical outcome. Researchers typically use pre-existing data to make new analyses and conclusions about the outcome of interest. Advantages of retrospective study. Minimizes cost and use of resources. Retrospective studies don't require researchers to spend resources on contacting and locating participants for a study, meaning that they're able to minimize costs compared to other study techniques. Increases speed of data analysis. Because researchers are reviewing existing documents to collect data rather than gathering a group of participants to interview, the data analysis process in a retrospective study may be faster. Researchers may also gather results directly related to the incident or outcome they're studying, resulting in more efficient data collection methods. 
Focus on the use of prior information. Retrospective studies often focus on pre-existing data and may not follow up or depend on a participant's willingness to take part in the research. Disadvantages retrospective study. Risk of bias from resources. Because researchers aren't collecting participants' information themselves, they're relying on others' information, which may lead to misclassification or recall bias. However, researchers may try to account for this by checking to ensure that their resources are from reputable scientists and studies. Data set requirements. If the outcomes of interest are rare, for example, a rare reaction to treatment, researchers may require large amounts of data to produce conclusive results. While this might mean that researchers spend more time gathering data, it can also show that their research is valuable to the field. Comparison group limitations. Since you're collecting data retrospectively, you're limited to the information available to you. This means that identifying and creating a comparison group to relate to the participants that contracted the medical condition may be a challenge. Difference between a retrospective and a prospective study. Data collection. The primary difference between retrospective and prospective studies is data collection. In a retrospective study, researchers investigate existing information regarding exposure factors and their impact. Researchers may also use resources that are already documented or published including medical reports and magazine or newspaper articles. On the other hand, data collection for a prospective study includes researchers performing the interviews and observation themselves. This allows the researchers to be present at the time of exposure and observe the impact of exposure firsthand. In a prospective study, there are likely no records of the incident of interest because it involves events that have not yet occurred. Data analysis. In a retrospective study, a researcher may analyze the data immediately if there's enough information readily available in documents and medical reports to lead to a conclusion. Whereas for a prospective study, the time frame for conducting a data analysis or making a conclusion may depend on the amount of data the researcher can collect and the execution of the research. Use and purpose. The purpose of a retrospective study is typically to add to existing research and information or elaborate on a recent discovery. Researchers use retrospective studies to analyze why something happened and to explain a recent event or discovery. While prospective studies differ because they're future-oriented, meaning researchers, use them to discover if an event will happen. Scientists can use either kind of study to learn about a particular subject. The key difference between the two study types is their approach. If researchers are interested in learning about what caused the outbreak of an illness, they may use a retrospective study to investigate. Alternatively, if they're interested in learning about the impact of treatments on patients who have the illness, they may use a prospective study. Time and cost. A retrospective study costs less and takes less time than a prospective study. This is because a retrospective study doesn't involve observing and interviewing participants, so there's less time and cost spent on data collection. In a retrospective study, data is readily available for collection and analysis, requiring a smaller research team and fewer resources. On the other hand, Prospective studies can often be longitudinal, meaning that they take a set amount of time in order to measure and analyze the effect of exposure on the participants. In a prospective study, researchers may contact and gather participants and collect background data, besides typical data collection and analysis.